Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a BBC Model B emulator using a Raspberry Pi Pico, and we're going to play some games on it. Okay, so um, I just got my Pico demo board. It's actually uh, really nice. See that they've used the solder mask in just about every way possible to help you understand what's going on. You see the VGA output, which pins are connected. Uh, which pins are connected to the SD uh, card as well um, over here and um, so pretty nice um, so I want to run this BBC uh, micro emulator um, on my Pico and to do that I have to um, I want to connect uh, GPIO 21 to um, a serial port so I have a little um, USB to serial guy here it beaten up um, and what I want to do is I'm going to solder this header in here and this will allow me to get uh, RX uh, and TX pins um, exposed and there's a ground uh, pin there as well but you can see there's little tracks I don't know if you can see there's little tracks here I'm going to cut the tracks so I've just got this board and I'm already going to be cutting tracks on it but this is just so that um, I can reconnect them later using jumpers and I think that's why it's, it's done like this I think that's why. I mean, that's why it's there. So anyway, let's see what happens. Um, so I need to be pretty careful that I don't... This could be a really bad thing to do. So yeah, I'm just cutting through the tracks and... No continuity, no continuity, and these should be connected to both the ground, which they are. All right, so it seems to have managed to break the track. So I'm gonna solder in this little header. Um, so the challenge soldering these in is to get the thing to stay put while you do it. So I'm actually, I'm going to use this, um, I don't know what you call this, blue putty, which just sticks things in place. Um, Okay, so this is what the board looks like all kind of hooked up. So just give you a quick rundown of what's going on here. So there's the power and programming cable just connected in the normal place. VGA out from the Pico demo board. Um, there's also an audio out cable. So that's where the sound's coming from. And finally, there's this uh, USB to serial adapter. And notice it's, a, it's in the 3.3 volt mode. And this is how uh, the keyboard connection is going to be uh, delivered uh, to my BBC uh, Ball B emulator. Okay, let's move on and uh, start to uh, compile the software that's required. So first of all, uh, you need to download the BEM um, repository from uh, Kilogram. Uh, you'll see the link in the, the description above and I'll put a link in the video itself. Follow these instructions. It's to build the RP2040 version. And the other thing you're gonna need is this thing called an SDL event forwarder. This is how the keyboard events are forwarded uh, from your computer keyboard to uh, the emulator. So you actually get keyboard input, which is kind of important. So let's start off. Uh, we're gonna sync down the BEM um, uh, repo. Uh, and again, this comes from uh, Kilo Graham uh, on GitHub. So you see the, the link there. So syncing down the source code and then uh, create a pico build folder and then essentially you need to do the cmake command tell it where your uh, pico sdk path is um, and also how the video output is going to be handled um, so and again this is all in the description um, so that configuration step doesn't take very long and then you can just do a make and 
Um, this takes a little bit of time uh, to make. This video is actually speeded up just a little bit. Um, but you know it's uh, it's pretty easy to build now one of the things is it generates lots of different output files and what I found um, here's the output folder uh, what I found is that the 1080p output uh, was much easier to get to work uh, than the others um, so moving on to uh, that keyboard forwarding stuff so the SDL event uh, forwarder so again, just sync down the repo. This one's actually um, a little bit easier to build, uh, a little bit faster to build as well. Um, so you just do cmake dot dot, no configuration options, and then make, and then you're there. So when you run this forwarder, STL event forwarder, you need to give it uh, the device uh, for your uh, USB to serial connector. So the BBC emulator on the Pico has a kind of authentic power-up sound, which is kind of cool. This is what the real BBC sounds like. Okay, so let's uh, just type in a program. This is sometimes known as the WH Smith or the Dixon Special. No, I've got exactly the right number of spaces. All right. And then let's try that on the Pico. So. So let's um, let's play a game. Okay, so now I'm going to load up a game. So one of my favorite original video games is, is called uh, Phoenix, and there's a version of Phoenix that was written in 2017 uh, by uh, Richard Broadhurst, and it's um, it's available um, at BBCMicro.co.uk. It's kind of like a retro version, and um, it's kind of cool. Let me show it to you. So one thing to notice is um, the BBC keyboard layout is different from a standard um, computer keyboard today, and the keys are not in the same places. So let me just load up Phoenix on the Pico as well. So the star key is shift and it double inverted commas on my Mac keyboard. And there we go. That sound that you hear is the Pico pretending to access its fake hard disk that doesn't, oh, sorry, fake floppy disk, which it doesn't have. Um, so let's get going. Oh. 
thing about this level is how many bullets you get to fire at once. Okay, and now this is this one's really hard. I'm gonna try and get as many of these before they before they expand because otherwise it's almost impossible. And I'm sure you're supposed to start in the middle because when you're in the middle. I mentioned I was quite into the Phoenix video game. Um, this is how much I'm into the Phoenix video game, actually. I bought the original arcade uh, version of it. This is the boards from inside the video game, a, video, uh, a Phoenix video game. Um, and I've had them for quite a long time, and I've been kind of slowly trying to figure out how to repair this. Um, here you can see it's all kind of discrete logic. There's a bunch of audio circuitry over here. This is the um, CPU. And then over on the other side, you see it's like two boards back to back, and uh, this is um, this is all of the uh, um, the ROMs uh, for the game. So um, it kind of mostly works. Um, I've not quite repaired it all the way. So anyway, um, I did say I was kind of into the Phoenix game. If anybody wants to uh, um, see a video about this and you know perhaps me maybe repairing this finally and getting it working. Let me know in the comments below. And thanks for watching. See you in the next one.